Hi, I'm Jack with Two Brothers Adventures. I'm here today to show you my personal survival kit that I carry with me anytime I uh, leave civilization, when I go out into the woods, go for a hike, go camping, hunting, fishing, whatever I happen to be doing, that I'm leaving the uh, comforts of the vehicle or a cabin or something like that. Um, this is, I packed this in a camera case I picked up at Walmart, but it fits all the needs that I have, has plenty of pockets, has a belt clip. I put a carabiner on the back, sometimes I'll just clip it onto a pack or onto my belt loop, something like that. This is my basic kit, has all the uh, basic items I need. I put this into a larger pack sometimes, incorporate it in when I go out and I take some additional gear. This always goes with me, it's my primary um, survival pack. I'm going to show you what's in here. First thing I like to do with all of my packs is I like to itemize everything that's in the pack. I like to keep it on a, a note card so that I can reference it easily. This way it helps me remember what's in the pack, helps me find what I want, which pocket it's in, keeps me from fumbling around in the pockets when it's inclement, inclement weather, raining, snowing, stuff like that. If it's dark, I don't have to pull everything out of all the pouches trying to find what I'm looking for. It also helps me remember what's in my pack. Like some of you guys, I have multiple packs. I have a uh, first aid pack that I is in a little backpack camera case that I carry with me too sometimes and you know it's kind of hard sometimes to remember which is in which pack so I always keep a, a, a list of what's in each pack so that I can uh, remember and just find it easily. The first pack, first pocket I have a couple of cotton balls or a couple of cotton, cotton squares for fire starting. I have a petroleum jelly impregnated cotton ball in some foil. And when all, if those get wet or if they fail, which they sometimes can do, I have a cube of wet fire. This stuff pretty much never fails. It's the greatest stuff in the world. Um, even if it gets wet or submerged, it'll even burn on water. It's just great stuff. I also have a, uh, a striker. To light my fire items there. I have two 11 yard trial size flosses, kind that you get from the dentist for free. It's great for tying together shelters, making repairs, um, any type of thing that you need string for. I do carry a little bobbin full of uh, snare wire. Um, not so much for making snares, but for it's good for tying shelters together, it's good for repairing equipment, stuff like that. I carry a P38 can opener. Um, I just had a lot of these laying around, so I decided to put one into this pack. I doubt I'll ever come across a can out in the wilderness, but you never know. I also carry two spare AAA batteries for my flashlight that's in the main pocket there. I carry three sugar packets just in case you need some quick little energy before you can find some additional food sources. And I carry three peppers and three salts just to help out with uh, the palatability of some wild edibles that you may come across. That's everything in the first pouch. The second pouch I have a four a four item combination whistle, thermometer, uh, chintzy little compass and a magnifying glass in here that you can use to start fires some people say but I primarily use it to uh, you know extract slivers stuff like that so kind of good for that. The thermometer works pretty well, the whistle's pretty loud. So, it's a nice little thing to have. My flashlight, it's a little LED, works really good, it's really bright, uh, lasts a long time on a AAA battery. I carry a pencil, some a little small thing of bug spray, um, it's DEET, insect repellent. I, uh, I can't stand having the bugs eating me alive while I'm trying to do things. I carry a backup for my uh, other flint, a little Bic lighter. Bic lighters are great, they last a long time, they're almost infallible. I carry some cordage. It's not a pair of cord, it's just some smaller cord, but it works really good, it's really strong. Um, allows me to carry a lot more. This is, I think, about 50 feet. It's good for tying shelters together, making repairs, uh, whatever you want to use it for. Tube of lip balm. Keep, it's also SPF 1500 sunscreen, 
So you can use it on your lips, you can also put it on your nose, put it on your cheeks, um, use it as kind of a pseudo uh, sunscreen if you get caught out in the sun. I carry a little knife sharpener, this is a nice little thing, I don't remember where I got it, but it's a diamond impregnated knife and hook sharpener. Works really good, it's really small and super lightweight, um, fits in this pack really well, so I like that. I carry a Mylar survival blanket. These aren't the best things, but they do help you waterproof a shelter or stay dry if you get caught in the rain. It's better than having nothing. They're light and small. Last thing in my main pouch here is a SOG or SOG multi-tool, the scissors version. Uh, it's just little, it's light. Uh, scissors are very handy. It also has a knife blade and some really good tweezers. They close together really good and, and they help you extract slivers or hold small things. It also has a flat blade screwdriver. On the other side it has a toothpick, a file, and a little pick, and a smaller screwdriver and a bottle opener. So I don't carry a knife in this kit because I carry a knife with my everyday carry and so I always have my everyday carry items with me which I'll do another video about later. Um, but those, item, those items, my everyday carry items are always with me and I have multiple blades so I don't carry another one in here besides just this. The last pocket in my pouch here is just first aid items. I don't like going to field without some first aid items so I carry a couple of packets of Advil, a packet of burn cream. I like to carry three of these larger size band-aids these are really great if you fall down, skin your knee, skin your elbow, um, scratch your, your leg going over a log or something. They're also really good to cover uh, a bigger cut if you put you know, some butterfly bandages on it or something like that. It keeps the dirt out. I have four alcohol prep pads. Well, these are good to have to, for antiseptic purposes. I carry eight of the nice cloth your add bandages, they adhere really well, they're very waterproof, they stretch, they move with you, so these are really great stuff. I carry eight of those just for small small cuts. Then I carry 12 of the butterfly bandages um, from Band-Aid. These are in place of stitches, they, they hold you until you can get in and get taken care of or you know they take the place of stitches. They're really great, I don't really want to try and sew myself together out in the woods if I don't have to, so I carry enough of these that I can uh, I can pretty much take care of a pretty large wound on myself or somebody that I that I come across or I'm with. Hopefully, I'll never have to do that, but it's better to be safe than sorry. So, anyways, these are my items that I carry. Um, like I said, I put them in. I carry this pack all the time when I go out. If I if I'm going out for a longer period of time, sometimes I'll put this or all the time I'll put this in my other pack. So this is always with me, um, other than my everyday carry. If I'm going outside of you know, civilization, going away where I might need some of this stuff, and I take all this with me. So, hope you've enjoyed this, and keep your knife sharp, and go out and enjoy the wilderness. Talk to you later.